to our top story. I was really shocked. <laughs> A Vancouver man finds a mistake in the system, signs about guns in parks that get the law wrong. He wanted to carry his gun into parks in Vancouver and Clark County, and he was surprised to see signs telling him he couldn't. That's because Washington law says it is actually legal for people to take their guns into parks. K2's Kerry Tomlinson is here. Guy went to City Hall and won his case, didn't he? He did. He went to the city and to the county, and he's already made changes, changes that you can see yourself. Joe Winton takes his first walk in this downtown Vancouver park with his revolver strapped to his belt. There it is. The sign that used to say no firearms now says no firearms discharge. A sticker added. That's all I wanted. Because Joe spoke out. I don't think people should be shooting in parks, clearly. Um, but I think I have the right to defend my life, so I should be able to at least carry my firearm onto a park. The law is on his side. Vancouver and Clark County used to be able to keep guns out. Washington State changed the law, allowing guns in all parks. But city and county code did not change, nor did the signs. And all of these have signs that say no firearms. He went before the commission and the council. Oh, wow. Did you do that research yourself? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> good work. Thank you. No, good work. Uh, we'll certainly uh, be moving forward with you know, getting the correct information. I'm actually quite shocked with how fast that things got accomplished. I, I didn't know that I could just simply go to a city hall meeting and, and talk to someone about it, and then they just go, okay. For now, the Parks Department added stickers to the signs here at Esther Short Park. Some park users are concerned. I mean, if you're just carrying a gun to carry it, I don't think that a park with children is really a good idea. So I think if children were to see it, they'd get the wrong idea, they might get scared. But Joe Winton says getting the sign right will make a difference. It's very important for the sign to be fixed for me because I don't want people to read a sign when they walk in and say no firearms and then see a man with a firearm. Now, you will still see some of the wrong signs in Vancouver and Clark County for a while. The governments are working on catching up to the code, and that will take a while, maybe to December. They say they don't want to spend all the money to replace all the signs now when they're going to have to make more changes at the end of the year. Yeah. But they're going to have to get to work and do it. Yes, they are. It's going to take a while. Thanks, Karen.